Hi everyone and welcome back to another video for Tailored Expressions. I am Mindy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created these two cards very quickly using a rainbow of sentiment strips. The products that I'll be using today are the Simple Strips Crafty, the Art from the Heart Background Stamp, I'm also going to use the Simple Strips Asymmetrical Die that's going to quickly cut out all of our sentiment strips. And I also have the Cap It Off Alpha Die Set. For inks, I just have Oreo and Versamark ink. And I will also be using some white embossing powder, Scotch removable tape, which is really great for holding your die cuts and does not rip your paper. For glue, I have Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I have my tweezers, a scotch tape runner, and my craft pick. For cardstock, I'll be using a rainbow assortment starting with a lollipop, candy corn, pineapple, lime zest, blue raspberry, plum punch, and I also have Oreo and sugar cube cardstock. Then to jazz up my card just a little bit, I'm also going to be using the gold glitter paper. And to store my sentiments while I'm working, I have these storage cases from Tailored Expressions. These are really handy when you're die cutting a bunch of the sentiment strips at once. I'm going to start my card by stamping the Art from the Heart background stamp. This has a lot of great images that you can color, but I'm just going to go for a very, very graphic design and stamp it in Oreo ink. So I removed the foam insert from my Misty tool, lined up my background in there, pick that up with the door of the Misty, and then I'm going to stamp this in Oreo ink on a white cardstock, and I'm gonna do this twice so I can create two cards. If you wanted to do some ink blending, you could also stamp this in Versamark ink and heat emboss with either clear or white embossing powder. Then while I have my Misty out, I'm going to load in my Simple Strips Crafty stamp set, once again, leaving that foam insert out of my Misty because these are red rubber foam mounted stamps. And I'm going to stamp this on all of those rainbow colors of cardstock, including the black. So the only thing I'm not stamping this on is the white. So I'm bringing in my lollipop, coated that or prepped it with an anti-static powder tool. And then I'm going to ink this up with my Versamark ink. So it's a nice sticky ink. And then when I'm inking this, I want to make sure I'm also getting those squares off on the side. I call them registration marks. And this is what's going to help die cut all of these at once. So after I stamped it, I'm just sprinkling on the white embossing powder. And then I'm going to heat set that with my heat tool. Once that's nice and melted, I'm going to bring in the Simple Strips Asymmetrical Die. Now there's a variety of dies you can use to die cut these out. I really like the different ends of each of the sentiment strips. So I lined those registration marks up with the stamp set and I'm holding this in place with some scotch removable tape. And then I'll run this through my die cut machine and I did this for all the rainbow colors of cardstock that I had stamped this on. Here's the black and the lollipop that I had done. And after I had heat embossed everything, I put them in these really nice and convenient storage cases. So this has all of my rainbow colors in here. I can pull out what I want to use and keep the rest in here for later. So this just keeps them really nice and organized. So after I picked out the sentiments that I want to use in a rainbow of colors, I went ahead off screen and trimmed my panels down. Now I have this cut to three and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to adhere this with the scotch tape runner to a piece of Oreo cardstock cut to three and three quarters by five and a half. So I'm just leaving a little bit of a black border around that edge. Then I can attach this to a card front that's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to bring in my elements that I customize. So I have the word hay die cut from that cap it off alpha die set. It cuts the outline and the inside all at once. And I wanted something that was just really simple to grab attention on the front of the card. So I just went with hay and I'm adding the outline, the black outline to the kind of little bit above the middle of the card, just using my tweezers and the Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. And then I'm adding in that black center. I wanted that to kind of stick out a little bit more. So um, it die cuts them both at once. I can use them or I can change up the inside color, which I'll show you in just a moment. Then going in rainbow order, I have all of my sentiment strips here that I'm just going to add with a tape runner. You could also pop these up with some foam adhesive if you wanted a little bit more dimension. 
And I love the staggering look of these. I had some that were a little bit longer, kind of underneath that hay sentiment. And I love the rainbow assortment of these. Now this card I felt was pretty much done. I do change my mind on something that I'll show you, but for the most part, I thought that card was done. Now to, for the second card, I'm bringing out my little storage system here, and I'm just going through and picking out some more sentiments in rainbow uh, order, of course. This time, I'm gonna do my rainbow backwards. So I'm gonna start with purple at the top, and I just picked some really fun sentiments that I think my friends would like, like sending smiles and sparkles. And then I'm going to adhere these to the front of my second card panel. So once again, I die cut that word hey using the cap it off alpha, die cut it from the gold glitter cardstock and the Oreo cardstock. So I lined the gold glitter in the inside and I have the black outline and I really liked that. It just added some sparkle to the front of the card and I decided I was going to change up my, my first card. So after I finished attaching all of my sentiment strips kind of in the back row, <laughs> backwards rainbow order, I'm going to bring in my first card that I did and I just really liked how the gold popped and I had those extras off on the side. So I'm taking the gold outline and adding that with that Nouveau Deluxe adhesive over the top of the black outline from that first card. And since I had some extra there of the inside pieces die cut, I'm just going to go ahead and use those up and attach those. And that added a little bit of dimension to it, which was uh, kind of a nice touch that I didn't really plan to do. And that finishes off both of my cards. That was really quick and easy to create. I love that bold graphic background of the art supplies and these really fun sentiment strips from the Simple Strips Crafty Stamp Set. Thanks so much for watching today, and I'll see you again soon.